begin with a Lawrence man convicted in a drunken driving crash that caused a derby track star's legs to be amputated. Thursday, a Douglas County judge found Julian Kuzmal guilty of second offense DUI. Tonight, Cake's Madeline Anderson spoke with the college student hit by Kuzmal in August of 2012. Yeah, less than a week into his freshman year at KU, Colby Lisson was pinned between Julian Kuzmal's SUV and another car on campus. As a result, Liston lost both of his legs, but it's what he's gained since that's remarkable. The past two and a half years have been full of major accomplishments for Colby Liston. I'm as happy as I could ever be. The KU Petroleum Engineering student was named the department's freshman of the year this spring. This summer, he competed in several track and field events. And just this week, he survived yet another round of finals. I enjoy my time at KU. I love going to school. I can't wait to get a to get a degree and move on and start a career. If you've already forgotten Colby lost both of his legs from the knee down, you're not alone. I think even a lot of my friends and stuff, they tell me they like they forget. Like I forget you don't have legs. I mean, because I don't I just I just live life. Colby says immediately after his injury on August 26, 2012, he decided not to waste time dwelling on the wreck or who caused it. No matter what the verdict was or what the outcome is, no matter how many days in prison he served, I still got to live my life. Since then, he's learned how to walk and run using prosthetic limbs. This is him at the 2013 Endeavor Games, a sports competition in Oklahoma for athletes with physical disabilities. Most importantly, Colby says he's learned to enjoy life no matter what happens. I can't see myself just feeling sorry and, oh, I don't have legs. I mean, that's, that's not life. And Colby says his next challenge will be finding an engineering internship for the summer. And by the way, the driver who caused Colby's injuries will be sentenced in January. Yeah, it's incredible to see just how far behind him he's seen. Like he seems like he's put this, you know. Madam? It really is. Yeah, he said that he hasn't even thought about the guy who did this to him until yesterday when the guilty verdict came down. Wow. All right. Thank you, Madeline.